the principal and you making it about you, you want it to be about you. You want you to you want to be the star. Get out of the car and let's take it far. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Before I even start, if you haven't watched the video I just posted, make sure you go check that video out. I went to Texas and I vlogged that. Uh, check it. Definitely subscribe and turn that notification bell on to join the Guala gang. And as y'all can tell by the title, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the time where I almost fought two people in one night. This was a crazy night. It was a wild night. It was a crazy night. But I can't wait to really dissect this whole story with y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments down below what y'all would have done or, you know what I'm saying? I'm just excited to know what y'all think about this whole situation. I got me a little liquidation right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a sip because I don't. And let's get right into it. So... The event, we were going out for my ex's birthday. So she wanted to go to a brunch. We had unlimited unlimited um, liquor for like two hours. So everybody at the table, we just ordering, ordering, ordering. We having a good time, you feel me? Like we enjoying ourselves. And um, my my ex, she was, she was the drunkest, you know what I'm saying? Rightfully so, it's your birthday. So, you know, I expected that. Go ahead, be lit, you know what I'm saying? I'm lit myself, but I'm not lit to the point where I can't make sure that she's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's selfish of me. For me to be blackout drunk, for her to be crazy lit, it's it's just not a good combo. It's time to leave or whatever. Everybody's lit. I believe everybody's lit. If anybody say they were sober, I feel like they lying. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they lying. So, um, you know, liquor make you have to use the bathroom. So... My ex was in the bathroom and she's taking a while, but I have to really use the bathroom. So I'm like, you know what? It's mad restaurants around this area. I'm about to go around the corner and see if I can use the bathroom because I, I can't wait. I can't wait for her. So um, I was checking. I, I asked all, they, all her friends. I'm like, yo, can y'all? They're all standing like outside of the bathroom that she's in. So I'm like, yo, can y'all please watch her? She's in the bathroom. Um, please make sure she's all right. I'm going across the. I'm going around the corner to go um to go use the bathroom everybody like yeah 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 we got you don't worry about it I, I, I. so i come i use the bathroom i come out of the restaurant and i see my ex um walking down the street by herself mind you y'all mind you i have her phone so she don't have her phone on her and she's super lit walking down the street by herself anybody who knows me personally knows when I go out with my friends, we are gonna leave together. We are gonna make sure everybody's safe. We not we not playing these games. You understand what I'm saying? There's so many crazy people out in the world. We just gotta protect each other. We gotta make sure everybody is good. You know what I'm saying? And how like, God forbid something was to happen. Like, what do I tell your parents? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's just not a vibe. Kind of ticked me off because I sat there and I asked everybody to make sure that she was valid. Why is she walking, t-shirt dress? in the middle of the street drunk as can be with no phone you feel me walking towards the cars now mind you two of the drivers they already it was two cars it was two cars deep two the drivers went to their car to warm up their car while everybody else was using the bathroom so she was walking to the cars wasn't a far walk but it's still the principle you understand what i'm saying because i would have never done that for i would have never done that we lead together we come together and you see somebody not in their right mind why would you let them walk out by themselves, you understand what I'm saying? So, boom. So, I go to the drivers. I'm I'm heated. I ain't gonna lie, like I'm heated. Thank God nothing happened to her, but like I was upset. You feel me? Like that's just not it. Like, so I go to one of the drivers. I'm like, yo, like you feel me? Like I I was fake black and like, yo, why? I told everybody this, that, and the fourth. I'm just venting. I'm venting to her. You feel me? Like I'm like I told everybody like watch out for her. Make sure that she valid. Everybody telling me yes, and she's walking by herself. So the driver's like, nah, like, you feel me? Like, I understand that. I'm saying the driver. Let me give her a name. Um, Prissy. Prissy. So whatever. I speak to Prissy. And Prissy like, nah, I get it. I get it. I, I just said the fourth. So 
everybody comes to the car and I address everybody. I generalized it. I'm like, yo, like what happened? Like I asked y'all to watch her, like why she moving to the car by herself? Mind you, when I went to the car, I was blacking too prissy about how I felt. But when everybody came, I wasn't on the, what happened? Like why everybody leave her? I wasn't on that. I was just like, yo, what happened? Like I thought we had an understanding like what's going on. One person in particular, I'm going to call this person, we're going to call her Snoop. Snoop. Snoop was the only one that took it personal. Like, everybody like, nah, my fault. Like, you feel me? Like, I think, I think everybody was like that. Whatever. She took it personal. Like, I'm coming at her. She like, why are you coming at me? Um, I didn't know. I was trying to make sure that this, that, no. Like, she's just, she talking a whole bunch of talking. Mind you, like, a lot of this story... I remember it, but like word for word, I don't remember too much because I was still lit. You know what I'm saying? But I know that she was taking it personal. She was making it about her and it wasn't a me versus you. It's a me versus the situation. What's going on right now? Like, why'd y'all do that? And she just kept taking it personal. And I'm like, I'm trying to tell her, like, I'm not blaming you per se, but she must have felt like extremely guilty because everything I was saying had to be general. It had to be about her. Like, that's how she was taking it. You feel me? So, mind you, me and Snoop got in the same car. So, she just keep going. And I'm I'm trying to just get her to understand. Like, I'm being as calm as possible, y'all. Like, as much as I don't want to be calm as possible, I'm being super calm. I'm like, you know what? Like, it's not even, I'm not even trying to, like, make it about you. Like, it's not even about you. I'm generalizing it. And she just kept going. Like, she was like, why? Well, why are you making it a big deal? She got here safe. What's the problem? I don't like that. You understand? I'm like, I don't like that. Because Snoop came with her own friend. Her friend was also my ex's friend, her, my ex's close friend. We're going to call her Braids. I would have never said that to you about Braids. I know how much you care for Braids. If I would have seen Braids, even if I would have met her that same day, but we all in a group, I'm going to make sure that Braids is not walking alone down the street drunk. It's that simple, you feel me? So once she said that, it was like, well, why are you still talking about it? Like she's here, it is what it is. What? What? So I told Snoop after all that, like I, I kid you not y'all, I was trying to reason with Snoop for like a whole minute and a half and I felt like that was enough, you feel me? So I'm like, yo, Snoop, get out of the car. Get out of the car, Snoop. It's time for us. So everybody, mind you, the second car, Everybody is still, they're out of their car. They're not even in their car. Everybody like tries to break us up. Ah, 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 this, that, and the four. I couldn't, I get out of the car, but I'm in the, Snoop is in the passenger seat. I'm behind the driver. So I have to go around the car to get to Snoop. But by that time, everybody who's already out of the car and everybody who's in the car, they get out of the car fast. So we didn't even get to like put our hands on each other, you feel me? But Snoop is wailing like, nah, come here. Ah. Like she's trying to like get to me, you feel me? And I'm trying to get to her too. Like we trying to get it, you feel me? Because like at this point, you making it about you. You want it to be about you. Now you're disrespecting me as well because you want some like, she's here, so what's the problem? Like, shut up. Like, ain't no shut up. Ain't no she's here, what's the problem? It's the principle. And you making it about you. You want it to be about you. You want you to you want to be the star. Get out of the car and let's take it far. So so everybody's trying to defuse that situation. My ex is super drunk and she's just like, she being mad emotional. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I felt like she was being mad emotional. So like she's like trying to like I felt like she was trying to make it like a us problem. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she like, oh, um, she just trying to make it a us problem. Like, I'm the problem, but you don't see that I'm tripping about your safety. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't see that I'm about to get it fake off the sake of you. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, I need I, I need you to get out of my face because you actually making me more hot. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm calming down because I'm like, you know what? This is my ex's birthday. I'm not even about to ruin her day like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm calming down. I am trying to go talk to Snoop off the fact of it's my ex's birthday. I'm trying to, you feel me? I see her crying. She doing all that. So I'm like, you know what? The plan was for us to, the plan, I think the plan was for us to um, either go bowling or go back to my crib afterwards. I'm really not sure. But I'm really trying to, like, I'm trying to walk up to Snoop 
and be like, you know what, forget it. Like, it's, it is what it is, whatever, whatever. We can move past that, you feel me? But before you come to my crib, what I need is an apology. It's that simple. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be a bigger person because I don't want this day to be ruined because of me. You feel what I'm saying? So, as I'm walking up to um, Snoop, um, my ex's best friend, we are gonna call her, oh damn, what we gonna call her? We gonna call her Weed. We gonna call her Weed. My my ex's best friend Weed is like, no, no, it's fine. She's good now. Mind you, Snoop is still on ten. Like, nah, cause I, 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 like as if you're not in the wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what gets me mad when I'm being a bigger person and somebody is still trying to like make it seem like I'm I'm wrong about something. I don't like that. I'm trying to be the bigger person. I'm trying to squash stuff. And not only are you Snoop still upset about something that you caused, we got Weed over here like making me feel like she has her own personal vendetta against me. You understand what I'm saying? And mind you, Weed wasn't even near the situation. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Weed wasn't in the car. Mind you, like I said, the second car never got in their car. For some reason, they're standing outside of Braid's car. You understand what I'm saying? So, you don't even know what transpired inside of the car for me to tell Snoop to get out of the car in the first place. You understand what I'm saying? So I kept note of that, but I'm like, you know, I'm still trying to increase the peace, whatever it is, what it is. So we ended up switching cars. I got in Prissy's car and um, weed and weeds, weed and weed G. Weed G is weed's girl. Weed had a girl with her. So I'm in the car with Prissy and Prissy's man. We're going, damn, there's so many people, names. We're going to call Prissy's man Island. Island, we're gonna call him Island. So I'm in the car with Prissy Island, my ex, and it's me, obviously. So we going back to my crib and my ex is just emotional and I felt like she was making it a us problem. And she said something totally like unrelated to the situation, but it had something to do with me. Like I was supposed to take her, I was supposed to take her like out of state. I was, I was supposed to drive her somewhere. This had nothing to do with her birthday, nothing at all. She randomly gonna tell me like, you don't gotta drive me no more. What? What are you talking about? Wouldn't that make like, like it made me feel like, what is you trying to make? Why are you trying to make this a us thing? This have nothing to, now you don't want me to drive you to X, Y, and Z. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you making it a us thing. Mind you, after I'm already trying to squash the be, I'm trying to be mature about it by just having a conversation. What happened? Why ain't nobody making sure she valid? Then two, I'm trying to, decrease the whole situation i'm trying to be a bigger person and apologize you feel me and like not even apologize but i'm just trying to go up to you and just you feel me like let's let it go it is what it is you feel what i'm saying like she i felt like she made it about us so that got me tight so i just shut her down I'm like you know what whatever it is what it is like we supposed to go bowling after going to my crib so i'm like you know what like it's cool y'all could go bowling enjoy yourself y'all that take my ex off you hear me like when i tell you it ticked her off like she came upstairs it was just me and her in my house she came upstairs and she was just blacking on me like she was just she was drunk y'all she was just going you know what i'm saying like ah you doing this i don't even know because i was genuinely like zoning her out you feel me like i was ignoring her so bad it made her yell at me more like she's yelling in my face like ah rah 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 and i'm like what the f you feel me like whatever you feel me so mind you everybody is still downstairs in the cars but she's yelling at me so long that i feel like it sparked curiosity out of people you feel me so people started coming upstairs but let me tell you how this unfolds so um what's the girl name what did i name this girl again weed my ex's best friend she comes upstairs my door is unlocked she comes upstairs and she has to use the bathroom. So I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna deprive anybody from using the bathroom. So um, I asked we, I'm like, can you please come in here and just be a mediator? Because like my ex was really wild and y'all, like she was like, ah. I wasn't, I wasn't on, I wasn't gonna entertain her or anything like that, but it was pretty annoying to be getting yelled at. You know what I'm saying? Like you just yelling in my face. So I'm just like, can you just be here to make sure, you know, nothing go left or anything like that. I, that wasn't my intention to take anything left, but the, as close as she was to me, I didn't doubt that she would hit me. Oh, I didn't doubt that she would like, she was lit. You know what I'm saying? I, who knows? I just wanted somebody to be in that situation, maybe to calm her down, 
you know, give us some space, whatever the case may be. So I asked Weed, I'm like, yo, can you like, please just be the mediator of this situation? And Weed was like, um, you don't want to know, um, you don't want to know what I think. You don't want to know my opinion. I'm like, what? Like, I never even asked you, you, this is what I'm thinking. You feel me? But I'm still, still y'all trying to keep the peace for my ex, bro. Like, I'm just trying to like, hey, you feel me? Like, it is what it is. Woo, 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 woo. So, we was like, you don't want to know what I got to say. You don't know what I got to think. And I'm like, what? Like, in my head, I'm like, I never even asked you that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I never, I, all I asked you was to be a mediator. I'm trying to make sure that this situation is, you feel me? Smooth. And it is what it is. You feel me? But after she said that, she left my crib. So, like, that was already a spark in my mind. And I should have slapped the shit out of her for saying that. But I was trying to keep the peace. You feel me? I was trying to keep the peace. So, whatever. Then Prissy ends up coming upstairs, probably like a minute or two after, to use the bathroom. So, I asked Prissy, could she be a mediator? Just be here. Just, you know, monitor the situation. Same shit. Prissy does it. Shout out to shout out to Prissy. You watch this, you know I'm talking about you. Shout out to you, Prissy, for doing what you did. So Prissy is just in the middle of, you know, in the middle of the situation. She's trying to calm my ex down. I, I, I'm not being a problem in the situation because she's just yelling and I feel upset at the fact that I felt like I'm going through all this trouble for you. You don't even see that I'm trying to like I'm tripping about your protection, you feel me? And you making it like you made it a us problem. And I feel like you're going against me when I don't feel like I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Even with Snoop, mo like I'm telling her multiple times, it's not about you. It's general. Like I asked everybody. You understand what I'm saying? As many times as I told Snoop, it don't got nothing to do with her. The first time I should have punched on her face. But I chilled out for the sake of my ex. I went up to Snoop trying to mend the situation for the sake of my ex. Why are you yelling at me? You feel me? Like, what's going on? What's that about? So, whatever. Prissy is trying to control the situation. I, I, I. But I feel like everybody, I either, I personally feel like now looking back on it, I felt like weed went downstairs and was on some, yo, Is I felt like she went downstairs and got crazy and told everybody something that what it wasn't. Because everybody ended up coming to my crib. You feel me? Like, everybody was coming upstairs. So, I'm just, like, confused as, like, what, what's going on? Like, why is everybody here? But I'm still lit. My ex is yelling at me. Prissy's trying to calm the situation down. I just got into it with, it's a lot going on in my mind. You understand what I'm saying? So gradually everybody ends up in my damn house. And some people are, I gotta use the bathroom. I, I, and some people are just upstairs to be upstairs. So boom, but we wasn't in the crib. So we come knocking on the door. Yeah, I think at this time, like I closed the door, I locked it, something like that. We, um, comes to the door like I'm trying to make sure that my best friend is okay and I'm like what like what you mean you trying to make sure your best friend was okay when you had the opportunity to check if she was okay when I asked you to be a mediator you made something about you I never even did nothing to you this whole night you understand what I'm saying like so I don't even know what's going on with you you understand what I'm saying but I'm not saying all of this I'm just like you had the opportunity to make sure she was valid she valid and I'm thinking in my head like how the fuck how are you trying to make sure she's okay when you let your best friend walk out of the restaurant by herself, drunk as can be, no phone, because you worried about weed girl, weed G, the girl you came with. You understand what I'm saying? You over here taking pictures with her in a restaurant that your drunk ass best friend is walking down the street by herself, but you wasn't, you wasn't concerned about her security then. I'm the only one concerned, but how are you, you understand what I'm saying? So how are you knocking on my door talking about Oh, I'm trying to make sure that she's good, this, that, and the fourth. You had two opportunities to do it, and you failed twice. You failed twice. So I slammed the door on her face. I'm like, nah, like, she good. Like, how do I go from being the protector to then you got to protect her from me? Make it make sense. You understand what I'm saying? This whole night, I'm trying to do the best I could for my ex. I'm trying to make sure that she still enjoys her birthday. You feel me? Like by not going off. No, I'm not going bowling with y'all no more, but I'm not gonna entertain your stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You going crazy, I'm gonna let you go crazy by your damn self. You understand what I'm saying? So 
miss me with all that protective shit. Get out of my face and get away from my house. I closed the door on her. So, um, I don't, everything started feeling like a blur. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, I think Prissy, I think Prissy, so I'm, I come back in the living room. I'm in the living room now. My ex is still yelling at me. Everybody's there. Everybody's in the living room. And I think Prissy opened the door for weed. And weed is in my house, like, going crazy. Like, yeah, I, I just done a fourth. Don't, don't. Um, close the door on my face. Don't do this. I, I, I. I'm like, yo, like, oh, this is what we doing. Because now you're in my house being disrespectful. You bugging, you bugging the fuck out. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you bugging out. Like, all bets is off. I don't care what my ex is talking about now. Now it's me and you, and now we're going to get it on. You understand what I'm saying? We just trying to go at it. Everybody is breaking us up. Like, everybody's trying to get at it. I, I, I took a big-ass, like, water jug or something like that. A big-ass water bottle filled with water. Chucked it right at, um, right at weed. Right at weed. You understand what I'm saying? Like, right to her. And, um... I think that's when everybody's like escorting everybody out. Like, all right, get out, this, that, and forth. At this time, this is when my ex is like, you well and you doing this in her house. Now you standing up for me? Now? Oh, that whole situation blew my, like, for a fact, bro. But let me know what y'all would have did in this story. Am I wrong? Like, do you see where I was coming from? What would you have done in this story? Let me know. Comment down below just your opinions on the story. Did you enjoy the story at all? I'm definitely going to do more story times. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. I've joined the Guala Gang. And you know what? It is what it is. Bye.